Have you ever experienced a feeling of mental exhaustion after a long day of decision making? Have you noticed that you just can't decide between all the options when doing some online shopping or figure out how to respond to that email or even do something that should be fun, like plan your family vacation? After a long day, just picking what to eat for dinner feels like part of some grueling mental marathon. Welcome to decision fatigue. But how do simple decisions end up exhausting us? And more importantly, what can we do about it? Decision fatigue is the feeling of overwhelm that happens when we make too many choices. You can imagine it as a backpack full of rocks that we carry around all day. The weight of each decision adds another rock and eventually we're left feeling weighed down and exhausted. It can lead to indecision, procrastination, and impulsive choices. In high pressure situations, it can feel like we're carrying boulders. If we don't figure out how to recharge, we risk burnout and avoiding some decisions altogether, even ones that we know are important. The problem is we're faced with more decisions than we realize. It's estimated that adults make literally thousands of decisions every day, big and small, easy and tough, and all that deciding can seriously tax our mental energy. It's like constantly having to play a game of pros and cons in an uncertain world, and the more we play, the more mentally drained we become. We've all been trained to think that more choice is better, but it turns out that we might be wrong. The paradox of choice, made famous by psychologist Barry Schwartz, is a phenomenon where too many options can lead to decision-making difficulties, dissatisfaction, even regret. Having more options may seem better, but this information overload can actually make people feel more anxious and overwhelmed. In his TED Talk, Barry uses the example of shopping for teens. We all know the frustration of trying to find the right pair of pants when shopping, but our frustration only happens because we have so many choices. Choosing becomes difficult. It's hard to distinguish between good and better, leading us to second-guess ourselves and feel less satisfied with our choices. Unfortunately, these negative outcomes occur for big decisions as well as less meaningful ones. We struggle with our shopping, but we also struggle with our careers, our partners, where to live, and how to raise our children. These choices matter, and we don't want to enter into them with brains that are already exhausted. For better or for worse, our ability to choose well seems to be a limited resource. The science behind decision fatigue is based on the idea that making decisions requires mental effort that depletes your cognitive resources over time. Decision fatigue can affect a wide range of decision-making processes. It seems that we're affected by everything from simple choices like what to eat to complex decisions like whether to accept a job offer. The research shows that our mental resources are limited regardless of the importance of the choice. On one end of the choice spectrum, researchers found that shoppers make fewer jam purchases when overwhelmed with options. On the other, one study showed that judges are more likely to grant parole early in the day when they have more cognitive resources. So choice overload matters. It affects every aspect of our lives and changes how we make our most important choices. But what can we do about it? Here are some strategies that can help mitigate the effects of decision fatigue and put you on track to make better choices. First, know your most important values. Some options when viewed through this lens aren't really options at all. I know that reading my Bible regularly matches my key values, so I don't bother wasting energy on making a decision about it each day. I just do it when I drink my cup of coffee. When you take some decisions off the table, it leaves mental energy to focus on other choices and solutions to problems. After you consider what matters, reduce the number of unimportant decisions that need to be made each day. This could be a game changer. If fashion choices aren't a big priority for you, use a capsule wardrobe or even a daily uniform. If you find an outfit that works, consider owning a few copies or versions of it to simplify your daily clothing decisions. You can also form habits to reduce your decision load. Decide that every Tuesday is taco night or that you're finally going to use a meal delivery service on Mondays. Pick a podcast you like and make it what you always listen to when you're doing dishes. Put your less important decisions on autopilot so that you have mental energy for more important choices. Establishing habits and routines can help drastically reduce the number of decisions you need to make each day. Of course, sometimes you'll still have to make important and even difficult decisions. Give yourself the mental space to do so and replenish your cognitive resources. Do the wellness activities we know we need but often skip. Take a walk, put your phone down, get enough sleep. Take your lunch breaks, take your vacation days. Seek good advice, pray, rest. By knowing what matters, reducing your number of daily choices and building habits, you can conserve your cognitive resources and help yourself feel less overwhelmed by choice. Has all that decision fatigue affected your productivity? Learn about how minimalist principles can help you be more productive by watching this video next.